Let me go across to my first guest on this show, Dr. Hansaji Yogendra, who is the director of the Yoga Institute. Remember, this is the world's oldest yoga institute. And this initiative has, in fact, helped a lot of those unsung heroes of COVID-19. All of those who include the policemen, the BMC staff, the medical staff, all these individuals who are at the front line at this point, helping our country fight coronavirus. Dr. Yogendra, you have been a part of the Yoga Institute for decades. But this initiative, I... tell us about it. How did you start this initiative of helping all those who are at the front line? We're talking about the policemen, we're talking about the BMC workers, we're talking about the medical staff who have to be there at the <coughs> front line fighting the coronavirus pandemic while the rest of the country right now stays at home. Right. You see, what happens is that all these people, they don't have time even to sit and eat. They need some very healthy food, which would help them to develop a good immunity and help them to see that they are, their energy level is very high. Otherwise, they won't be able to function. And so we give them what is called a sattvic food. Sattvic food is a food which is easily digestible. It gives you lots of energy, fibrous, and it really helps in cleansing your system. So that is one work which we do it since quite a long time. You see, the police force has been coming here very regularly for yoga training. And one of the police in the morning when I asked him, did you eat your food? He says, Madam, no time. So I decided, I said, come on, how many people? And accordingly, we give them breakfast, we give them lunch, we give them snacks, dinner. We cook food here in the Institute with our in-house cooks, we have in-house people who are staying here day in and day out. We have foreigners staying here. We have about um, 50 of foreigners who are coming from various countries. They have been staying here and learning yoga. They all are so helpful in helping others. <clears throat> and so we try to cook, we make a packet, and then we tell these police to come in their van, take the things and go. Now we are trying to see that we reach still more people. This was around 1,000, and now we are reaching more people because we find the poor urchins here around. They also are looking for food. And so we told police as well as municipality heads that they should take food from us. We don't know where to go and give. They should give to needy people around. And so this is how we have made the arrangement. And along with it we try to see that they get little education on how they should eat little food but a healthy food a simple food so that that would help them to cope up with this stress which is going to which is there and which is going to be there further also and other thing which we do is we have our programs which are going on online where we try to talk to people thousands of people they are joining me in on this online and they try to understand what to do, how to do. And the basic philosophy of yoga is being understood very well, that right now be it present, do your job perfectly, see that you follow all these rules and regulations properly, see that you drink only hot water after eating food, and so many details which I give it online, which people are following. And I find that all of them are really healthy, fit and fat. Uh, Dr. Hansaji would like to understand from you, uh, you have so far been able to at least uh, deliver meals to almost 1000 people per day and that's a very big uh, contribution on a daily basis. Uh, what is your roadmap ahead? How many uh, people uh, are you aiming uh, to uh, deliver these uh, sattvic cooked meals to and what are the big challenges before you while you do it? Well, since we are dealing with householders, we are entire education is to see okay. that how a family should help each other live jointly together and all that. I always tell people that just don't live for yourself, live for others, do whatever you could do for others, do. So all these things which I heard was so beautiful that everybody is doing fantastic job, no doubt about it. The point is how to take care of their mind when they are doing any work they should understand that they should not bring any fear, anxiety, tension. They should just follow the rules and regulations of how to live correctly. And so now we are going to increase our number. We can go up to 2,000. And wherever we feel the need is there, we would definitely help them out. Because our main aim is to see that 
the health is to be maintained. It's not just the food, whatever comes. They have no time to cook and all. They don't have a gases. People are telling me we don't have gas. Where, where would we cook? And so people need cooked food. And so we thought that we would cook. My in-house team is working day in and day out to see that they are they could do their job well. And they are doing it very enthusiastically. I have noticed that all our volunteers, they are all volunteers. Our institute is totally a non-profit organization since all these hundred years. I mean, Mumbai, but all these. And so they are all there with positive feeling, dedication to do the job. And we could reach up to 2,000 that much. So I think so we will be able to manage. And uh, if we could get help, nothing like that. But we would definitely go ahead with that and um, let us know where, what is required and how scientifically we could go ahead and do that. We have seen that there were people who were very sick in bed. They couldn't digest anything. They were going down. There were people who were drinking alcohol and spending the time because there is a tension in the house. And all such people, once they started eating this food, their health improved. There are many who have stopped drinking alcohol there are many who were totally bedridden. Now they come walking up to our gate. Our gate is locked, but they come up to our gate to tell us that thank you very much, now we are alive. So we are enthusiastic and we would definitely do all these things. Educate people how to live, try to do. This our cook, which you can see. All this our team, they are all, all this my son, Shri, uh, Rishi Yogendra, all such people which you are seeing now, they are very, very sincere, dedicated, and they would do their, they are doing their job very well. Police is very happy. They are also telling us that we are helpful. This this food is helpful to bring our health, to bring our okay. health in balance. So we will do, we will go ahead with. Uh, and that really, that Dr. Hansaji, is the most important. The fact that there is physical and mental well-being that in fact is the most important aspect of uh, making sure that all those in the front line especially the medical staff the paramedics the bmc That's staff right. and all those policemen who are at the front line day in and day out have not just a physical well-being but they are mentally sound as well and that is an initiative that you have very beautifully uh, put forth to them many uh, thanks to our guest for joining us and giving us an understanding of how you've been helping our people and you absolutely Absolutely have been an inspiration for all the Indians who probably would be following your footsteps. Dr. Hansaji, Dominic Vijay and Deepak Singh, many thanks for speaking to us and we salute the kind of work that you've been doing and we wish you luck for the work that you've been doing and we hope that more people join in your fight against coronavirus and helping out all those in need.